Hi everybody, it's Wednesday, December 21st, 2011. Thanks for stopping by. Got a couple of topics I want to talk about today, kind of related. I went by one of Pat Condell's videos again, just to hear what that old fool is ranting about now. And uh, of course it's Muslims. And uh, I got into conversations with a couple of people there. And... One of them, you know, I, I just, it just struck me as funny that one of them, they listed out every crime they can think of ever committed by Muslims. They, um, you know, try, trotted out all the old memes about how Muslims are horrible people and their religion is rotten to the core and they just can't be good. Um, and then talked about how she had or he or she, I'm not sure, but it seemed like a she, but um, they had a friend who was Muslim, a Muslim woman who died, and, you know, this Muslim woman they really liked. They thought that they were a great person. And I just thought it was so funny that this person is spewing hate about this person who is dead, really. I mean, she was Muslim. So if you say that all Muslims are bad, then you're talking about your dead friend too, who you think you love. And she was from Iran, and according to that person, she witnessed the horrors of Islam. Not Notice, not the horrors of the Khomeini regime or the horrors of authoritarianism, the horrors of Islam, which she believed in. She was Muslim, okay? The horrors of her. Uh, and I found that just really funny. And this person just went to great lengths to uh, profess no hatred towards Muslims. Doesn't hate Muslims, doesn't mind them, but they're just the most evil thing in the world. And I'm thinking, well, if they're evil, why don't you hate them? Do you like people who are evil? I mean, I don't, I don't get it. If they're all the same, why not hate them? It doesn't make any sense. And the other person was, uh, you know, and, and I was a bit disgusted by this person, really, because of their duplicity. But what was far more disgusting and filthy was the other person I spoke to who claimed to be an Indian atheist who just spewed out the most vile things you can imagine. Constantly talking about genitals and uh, holeless virgins and hairless boys. And I just felt like my eyeballs were filthy from reading the things that this disgusting creature was saying. Uh, just a filthy mind. Filthy mind. And I, I felt disgusted and I felt like my mind had been contaminated with their filth. And this person... Maybe I'm going overboard, but really, sometimes I run into people like that that are just filthy. To me, it seems that way. When they, when they speak about other people in just such ridiculously hateful terms, and they start talking about sex with children over and over again, and talking about, you know, penises and all this stuff, and, and hairless boys. I mean, that's disgusting. I don't want to think about that stuff. Okay, so this person... He went to great lengths to call every single Muslim in the world a Nazi. He said that Islamophobia is no different than Nazi phobia, which means that Muslim babies are Nazis. And this person who had the Muslim friend, he was calling her dead friend a Nazi. And she loved him. She said, oh, yeah, you know, we agree. We're in total agreement. Uh, you know, what you're saying is right. Muslims are Nazis. We should, we should consider them to be Nazis uh, because of the way they're born. And, you know, I, I, I mentioned something about Mein Kampf, and lo and behold, wouldn't you know it, the Indian atheist started praising the book. He started praising Mein Kampf. And he was, he was um, trying to blame Mohammed, who's been dead for about 1,400 years, for the fact that Hitler once said something nice about him. 
And by the way, John F. Kennedy once said something nice about Hitler. Okay, so, you know, uh, and at the same time, this person was praising Mein Kampf and saying that it had great ideas in it. <laughs> I mean, I've read Mein Kampf, okay? It didn't have any great ideas. It was a silly book, a rambling, silly, pompous uh, collection of uh, apologetics for racism and, and fascism. That's all it was. I mean, it was taken about as seriously in Germany as Michelle Bachmann. When, when she started running for president, when, when, uh, when Hitler released Mein Kampf, all the people who had brains, they saw Michelle Bachmann, okay? But, but not, not my Indian atheist friend who considers all Muslims to be Nazis. He doesn't think that Mein Kampf is so laughable and absurd. He likes it. And isn't that funny that, you know, people who go around uh, calling other people's Nazis might actually be Nazis themselves and, and don't have any problem admitting it, you know? Uh, I find that just to be so funny and, and sad at the same time. And another thing that I, that I really found to be funny and, and sad and, and, you know, maybe I shouldn't even say it's funny because it is, it is actually a little bit dangerous. I got a, I got a message from a guy named, uh, let's see, his, his YouTube channel is Jews Will Rule the World. Okay. Now, at the top it says uh, Gentiles exist to serve Jews. I mean, this is just an amazing YouTube channel. Now, the background picture is of uh, a man in a yarmulke who is feeding something to a boy in a yarmulke, and it looks sort of like an insect or something. I don't know what it is, maybe a scorpion. You can't really tell, but it looks a little bit disgusting. And, you know, if you haven't got it yet, okay, if you haven't understood what this is yet, then... You can read the um, you can read the uh, channel description, okay. And and the first thing it says on here is shalom. The sexual abuse of children is allowed in Judaism. You get it now. <laughs> uh, you know you understand, right? This is a this is this guy is an anti-Semite who's pretending to be a Jew. Okay, and then it goes on to quote some bad verses of the Talmud, and then. It goes on to praise the 9-11 hijackers. And then, okay, here's what he supports. Now, this guy describes himself as a rabbi and a hedge fund manager who supports Occupy Wall Street, homosexuality, Israel, Marxism, pedophilia, world government, multiculturalism, illegal immigration, <laughs> miscegenation, and Federal Reserve. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up. Okay, and here's his interests, as if he wasn't, just beating you over the head with the fact that he's not a Jew and he's an anti-Semite, uh, crazy person. Here's his interest. World domination, backstabbing, and making a Europe and America multicultural. And, you know, what's disturbing about this page is that every single person who wrote a comment on this page actually believes he's a Jew. They don't get it. They, 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 I mean, how obvious does he have to make it? I just don't understand how people can function in the world and, and, and be fooled by something like this, you know. And, and another interesting thing about this is that every single thing that they do to Muslims, they're doing to Jews on this channel. Like, you know, the obsession with pedophilia, the bad verses the, of the holy book, the... Uh, you know, attempts to say they're taking over the world, the, the complaints of multiculturalism, uh, you know, you name it. This is basically Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. It's, it's demonstrating that they're the same thing in an unmistakable way. And nobody seems to get it. <laughs> it's truly amazing. But check out this channel, Jews Will Rule the World. Thanks for watching.